Hi everyone, Code Queen. I'm here to show you how to create Wix Store's product reviews on individual product pages. Before we get started, as we're looking at this lovely example, I want to give a big shout out to all of my kiddos at USD350 in Kansas. Love you guys. All right, so here we're looking at a couple of review examples from a live client website, and I'll drop the link in the comments below so you can check it out and browse through it. The way that the reviews work is there's a button that triggers an email notification to the administrator of the website. Once the email is received, she then reads the comments left behind. Once the admin finishes moderating any necessary comments, they click on a tiny little check mark that automatically populates and publishes the comments live on the correct products. So to get started with this tutorial and follow along, visit totallycodable.com and look for the tutorial article that matches this video. Click on Velo Codes at the very top menu. And using the search bar, look for filtered product reviews for Wix Store's product pages. Once you're on the article, you can skim through it and look for all the code parts that we'll be reviewing today. If you are a beginner coder and have never created custom forms, email notifications, or worked with repeaters, then read the article very carefully. I have broken down everything step by step, including little short snippet videos. They're between two to four minutes long, explaining exactly where to click and how to complete the steps listed in that section. You're welcome. Now let's move on to the tutorial site and let me explain to you the different pieces that you need to make this happen. First, make sure that you have Wix stores installed. Then visit the product page. We're gonna check out what exactly makes up the product page on Wix. Well, not much. <laughs> Looks like there's just one giant product widget that displays all of the product information. So we need to leave that at the top and center of the page so that way we can work and build around it. At the very bottom, I added a strip and this will be our reviews section. Inside of the strip, I've added a repeater with different elements. All of these elements can be connected to the pieces of data that we collect on a custom form. And if you notice, I've added two images right on top of each other. Sometimes users may or may not want to upload an image of themselves or the product that they're reviewing. So just in case this happens, so what we do is we put the default picture underneath the uploaded picture. The verified will not be connected through the data set. We're just going to trigger that via the code that's located in the tutorial article. Now underneath the repeater, you will see that there is a box. You can write any type of message you want. This box will display when there's no reviews under that specific product, or at least no reviews that have been approved by the admin to display on that specific product. We do have a button up at the top. That button is actually linked via code, and we've activated the on-click event handler. So make sure to follow the tutorial code example to know exactly how to type in the event handler name. Over on the databases, we've created a custom database called Reviews Submitted. We clicked on the plus function, added a new collection, and then we created some fields for that database. We have the product name as a text, we have a text field called reference, and we have a reference field called Wix stores. I've connected that to the products database. We have an approved checkmark column, name of the person, number of the stars rated. We have a comment field, email, a picture that they uploaded, and a verified purchaser checkmark column as well. As you can see, I've already added some sample information as I tested out the code. So I know it works. If you don't know how to build a database collection or add the fields, just follow the tutorial article step-by-step step and it'll show you a mini video on how to do it. 
Let's look at the database settings. We've selected custom use and we've set the permissions for anyone can read, anyone can create, and only the admin can update or delete. We've pasted the page code here. Visit that tutorial article to copy and paste the code. You may only need to, need to modify a few of the IDs on your page or on the code. If you are not familiar or advanced with making these changes, make sure to follow the tutorial article step by step because it'll tell you the exact names to add and where and how to add them. We've added some backend code. This short little bit of code will trigger an automated email that will get sent out to the admin. Let's take a look at the triggered email section. Let's open up the triggered email template that I've already created. It has a simple title, simple message, just to let the admin know, hey, you've received something. If you notice, the button has a link. It is linked directly to the live database. If you don't know how to create a triggered email, Follow the tutorial. Short little video will walk you through the steps. Once the database opens, the admin can approve, verify a comment, and they'll be able to view the changes live on the website. Notice how the comments change, uh, verified or not verified, depending on what was already marked on the database. And if we change to a different product, the reviews change with it too. It's already built in the code. All you gotta do is copy and paste and you will get this working on your website. You're welcome. Now I do have to let you know, in this tutorial article, we do not have a code to calculate the ratings. In other words, you'll just see a star number for each rating, but you won't see an average for all of the stars that were left for the reviews. We'll do an advanced tutorial on that later. For now, we're keeping it simple. Follow each section step by step, copy and paste the names, check out the short video that each section has just to make sure that you're doing it correctly. If you'd like to see more videos with easy codes, easy step-by-step, -step, copy and paste methods, make sure to like and subscribe. Every like, every comment, every subscriber gets me in front of more audience, helping me create more free videos for you. Now, if you need additional help, be sure to check out the menu. At the very top, we do have a totally codable forum a design Facebook group, and a code Facebook group. All you have to do is look for Totally Codable on Facebook, find us, join, post your questions. You can also find me in the Velo forum. So if you're ever there posting questions, look for Code Queen Ayeli. I'm not there every day, but if you tag me, I will be sure to check out your post. Thanks for watching.